Get Loose with Lou. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Hello. Welcome, welcome. We have my co-host, Steve. What's up, everybody? You ready? What's up, Lou? Oh, my goodness. I'm excited. We've got a so hot topic tonight. We sure do, right? So this topic today, we're going to dedicate it to Elaine Powell, which is one of our great um, supporters. She watches, she likes, hearts, and also <laughs> comments. Elaine, we appreciate you. This one's for you. There you go. Let me go ahead and um, introduce our guest. We got G Money in the house. Hi. Hi, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm a little hoarse. Just got off work. Oh. Me, me and Dominique just got off work. Okay. We're going to have to talk about how work was. And we got Dominique, my gorgeous little freak. Hello. <laughs> I'm not a freak. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're a freak on the down low, girl. No, no. Oh, oh. Okay. She is. So, she said, speak for yourself. That's right. She <laughs> said, speak for yourself. Mm -hmm. So welcome to the podcast. And tonight we are going to discuss a hot topic. We are going to talk about narcissism. What is that? Right. What is right. that? And, and, and narcissistic friends. No narcissism. <laughs> so just to say it again, right? So narcissism is actually, like, sadly more common than you think. How, how many people here have, have been in the presence of a narcissist or had a relationship with a Raise your hands up narcissist? in the air. Wave them like you just don't care. Right, so it's definitely a thing. So yeah. I wanted to start this way and just to talk a little bit as like the pro and the therapist, like what is narcissism? So first, I'm just going to say as, as a pro, it's, it is a little bit annoying because it's a buzzword that people throw around. Everyone's a narcissist and this one's a narcissist. And they're, they're, they're narcissists because you hurt my feelings. You're, I'm a nar you're narcissist. So what, what, what is that actually? So it's a, it's a personality disorder. It means it's different than like you're just depressed because um, – you know, someone in your family died. This means that this is in your bones. This is in the fabric of your character. This is the kind of cloth that you're cut from. This is a pervasive problem that you're going to be able to see in a person throughout their life. And so the main the main traits of a narcissist is that they uh, have a really inflated ego. They have a really grandiose sense of who they <laughs> are that is really not based in reality. Like privilege. For example, they, a, a, a really narcissistic person might say, like, um, I, I know everything. Just listen to me. Like, I, I can fix all of your problems. Mm. Right? That's, like, a pretty That's grand thing to say. Right? Or, um, uh, I'm the best at this job. Everybody knows that. People talk about how good I am at this job. I'm the best. Right? It's a sort of very grandiose, inflated ego that's just not really based in reality. Um, and, and these are usually very, like, weak, fragile people. They're typically men. There can be female narcissists, but they're mostly men. And, and when you challenge them just even a little bit, they, they pop. They just sort mm. of – they kind of pop, and they get very upset, and they have a tantrum. Uh, uh, some of the other traits about, about the narcissist is they, they think that they should be around other very special people – or that they should have like very special treatment, um, even though they haven't deserved it, right? Like they want to be treated like a, a surgeon or something, but like they're they're in high school, mm. right? And you're like, no, 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 no. You're, a you're, surgeon you're, um, with a GED curriculum? Yeah, exactly. Like they they just they just think that they deserve this special <laughs> treatment. Um, they ha they have a difficult time like empathizing with people. Yeah, it's 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 really all about them. Um, a subtle, a subtle kind of example might be you're just kind of sharing about your day, and somehow the conversation just really goes on to them and never comes back. Yeah. Right. Um, or it can just be like something like this. Here's another like kind of subtle one that might count. Is like you, you, you're going to a birthday party and it's like a kid's birthday and you get the kid a, a gift, and a week later you come by and you're, and and this narcissist says, "Has has your kid worn the gift yet that I that I got?" And then you say no, and they're like. <laughs> Well, I really wanted to see them in it, and they're now they're going to grow out of the out of the out of the outfit. And Am I I'm, a not, and I'm not. I'm not going to get. <laughs> Am I a narcissist? <laughs> I don't We're know. We're going to find out, Dominic. So you know what the cat of the bag. So Louise, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to tell him. Go right she ahead. said. She said. She said. Steve, one of our guests is a narcissist. <laughs> <laughs> dun, dun, they, don't, dun, they don't know. Which, they don't know which one it is. But there's going to be a which discovery. one we're going to discover. Just kidding. Just kidding. <laughs> So, like, well, so here, for real, here, here are some of those are some of like the basic bones, and we'll 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 fill in the gaps as we go along. 
<laughs> um, but just similarly, I do want to mention that there there is something close to it, which is called a histrionic personality. And this is a usually a woman. And this woman is very flirtatious. She's very va-va-voom, usually very pretty and provocative, kind right. of sexy. That's and me. she needs a lot of attention. That's me. See Dominique. <laughs> Okay, Dominique's very, very, giving herself up right here. Look at her. Also very self-centered. I mean, but I mean I'm very, fine, like, but like, I don't I need, need attention. I need, I, need, no. I need the spotlight. And when they don't have the spotlight, they get very upset. And they're oh, usually no. like very sh- they're usually That's very shallow, no. No. superficial people. No. Oh, I got a whole bunch of stuff. Anyway, so okay. am I definition. Narcissist? Yes, I, you are. Somebody <laughs> compliments me and I go, I know, right? No, that's confident. There's a difference. Yeah, that's a confident. Most narcissists don't know they're narcissists. Someone told me that you never say yeah, thank most, you. You always they, say they wouldn't I know, right? <laughs> most narcissists will not admit that they are a narcissist, a narcissist at all. And when you tell them that they're a narcissist, they will go bat shit crazy. Or they'll laugh at you or they'll make you think like you're yeah, you're crazy. Yeah, they they mainly yeah. what I noticed like with cuz I've dealt with a lot of narcissists is that um, they always try to make you think that you're the crazy one. Exactly. Oh, yeah. oh, or or great you did that. something yeah. wrong or yeah. you're lost. But never will they ever own up to anything. Apologize. Never apologize. It always comes back. No, it's you. It's yeah. you. Kind of so, almost like the gaslighting. I put it back together. No, no, that, that is actually the definition of gaslighting. Another you know, buzzword that we're hearing. Everyone, oh, you're gaslighting and you're gaslighting. Those people don't know what the fuck gaslighting is. Right. They're and giving all this. Gaslighting is that. <laughs> gaslighting is when when you know, hey, we're going to meet at five o'clock mm-hmm. and the person arrives at seven o'clock and you say, you, we said five and they go, right. no, no, that's, no that, that, that's not what happened. What I said was this, and then they kind of start to begin mm-hmm. to make you feel crazy over time. Yeah. When you know, I know that they you're said not listening five, and they <laughs> gaslight, and then over time, if you're in a relationship with that person, they'll make you they'll make you go bananas. Yes, you'll go crazy. Yes, yes. that's exactly the definition. Mm-hmm. Rewind the tape, hear it again. Malone's definition is what gaslighting. <laughs> totally. So, so this hits hard. Why, Dominique? Why are you? Why is it hitting hard? Um, because I know a few people like that. Really. <laughs> What you want to you want to give us a little bit of a scenario? Uh, I know someone that always, when when I tell them something that they have done, they turn it around and make it seem like it's me, mm. and then I start thinking it like, wait, is it me? And I know darn well it's not me, mm-hmm. but I'm. They make just you to make think me twice? think it. They make me think twice. I'm like, oh my god! I'm like, you're a narcissist. You know, I get all that stuff from TikTok. <laughs> you know, this is this is where everybody getting all these words from anyway. So let's I say, can, and I got it from the, the dictionary. The a lot of but, they don't even know the meanings. They just see it on TikTok and like, you're a narcissist. <laughs> TikTok, you see what you're doing to my friend, Dominique? <laughs> so important to like distinguish two things, right? Like one is like there's people who are just quite honestly not mature enough to take responsibility for themselves and saying like, mm-hmm. you know what, you're right. I'm late. Please forgive me, right? There are those. Yeah. And, then, and then there's who are narcissistic who start to kind of <clears> bend it around. Not only can they not like be responsible <clears> for their error but that, that that but you're the asshole and then you want to turn yep. it yep. right and then and you start seeing this very egotistical inability to be responsible for themselves mm-hmm. so well, i have a story oh, right, okay. I, oh, you know, I want to hear that but i also want to like throw it out to the team of like have you guys ever been in i don't know like a happy hour or like a fun dinner out with a group of friends and one of them like does like the narcissistic thing and like just <laughs> Takes over the night. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. I want to hear about that. All right. Um, Go ahead. Ben. Who wants to start? I don't have that story. No. Okay. I, you I have that story? Um, well, I don't even know if this is narcissistic, but um, basically I had a friend that only cared about her needs. Um, we all wanted to get together just to hang out. Easy. But her. But her no, no. You don't know easy. who it is, but just don't Yeah, say. that's what I say. Easy. Um, she didn't really care about everybody wanting to get together. It was more about her being seen because she did her hair, she did her eyelashes, she did her makeup, she did her <gasps> her dressing, Ooh. and then she wanted to go out. And then one place wasn't good enough. It had to be another place. Then oh another place wasn't good enough. We had to go to another gosh, place. Another, yes. But she, she wasn't driving. She was asking people to leave certain places so that, you know, just she didn't care about everybody's night. She only cared about her night. What she and looked like and What she looked like and who she was trying to see for that night. 
I was there that night. Mm. Wait, so was she? It irritated Probably. Me. Yeah. I was. Okay. Everybody was upset about it. I want to hear it. your answer to that, but finish. Yes. Well, everybody was upset stage. and called her out on it. Or called her out on it with me, though, not with her. And I kind of brought it up to her. You know, you need to relax and enjoy what everybody's doing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This is not about you. You know, I understand, you know, you wanted to do something and go somewhere and be seen. But it's not about you. It's everybody. Everybody's having fun. It's everybody's night. Yeah, we're and all she was very time. upset about that. <gasps> so I want to hear what annoyed you, but like real quick, we're gonna go ahead and call that behavior, Gina, normal, yeah. right? Like, hey, we're we've decided as a group of friends, we're gonna get together. We've decided we're mm -hmm. gonna go to this place. We're gonna enjoy ourselves, mm -hmm. right? And it's not like the me 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 show, mm -hmm. but you kind of saw that, right? Like this abnormal thing where it was like, I need the world to see me and my new hair and my new outfit and it's not good enough and I got I need more and I need more and I need more and it, it and, and she like colors the whole evening. it's all about her it's all about her and what annoyed you yeah. about it her just jump going to oh it was like it's not the right men here I, I want to go somewhere else they're not the right men here so we'd have to get up and gather our stuff so she can go and once she finds the perfect setting for her and it was like, I, we're, we're not bar hopping. We're not here to look for men. We're just here to enjoy each other's company. So now you're irritating me. But she made it about she herself. She made it all about her. her ooh. Yeah. The thing that is, I'm like so. Selfishness. Mm -hmm. the thing, well, so well, maybe guys, that is it. Did you guys call yeah. her out? Or no? Um, no, just she should have. You know what? Honestly, I'm so used to her behavior. And a lot of people have had problems with her. And I always covered up for her because I protected her. And everyone mm. told me, stop protecting her. She is a huge problem. And she knows what she's And doing. she's a one-way friend. And um, But then I started realizing, uh, the more and more I stayed away from her, she was pretty much self-absorbed. Nar narcissist, maybe. Ooh. I don't know. So. Let me ask you a question. One-way friend's big. So do, do, do you find, after you're with her, that you're tired or more energized? Oh, I'm exhausted. After... Her or she's oh. draining. No, I'm, she's draining yeah, me. Yeah, she's draining you. Yeah, yes. she's draining me. There's a part of her that's exciting and funny and that I enjoyed. That's why I protected her. But then the other side would be, you know, it's all about me, 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 me. And when I noticed that all my circle of friends didn't enjoy her, just me putting up with her, it's because I was just used to it. So let me just say this. Most narcissists, I mean, all of them, I mean, all of them, they're, they're, vampires like they they want to suck the juice yeah sure and, do. And, and one of the one of the ways to know like am i with someone who's just let's say selfish or mm -hmm. maybe immature versus like a real narcissist is you're gonna feel tired you might even feel like your skin's dry or you're just like have like a weird kind of ick it's kind of like that's usually a sign. The, the bone marrow out of yeah, you yeah they take they, no, they, they, they suck they, you they, they suck, suck you yeah. dry yeah you they become, do you become depressed you because become of them you start becoming crazy. Yeah, you, because yeah. No, you, start you don't become questioning you yourself. Is, are, am I really that person? Because they shoot at you. They, they literally, and, and the reason why they I know They manipulate the words. Because I've dealt with not only a friend, but also a guy that I dated. Course, yep. And when I tell you, they, I'm just a strong woman, so it's going to be pretty hard for you to get me. But- Mm -hmm. At one point, I did go down that route where I start crying like, oh, am I really that person? Until I snapped out of that shit. That's right, girl. So when snap I snapped out of it, the then, fuck out of it. Yeah, I realized <laughs> that what. But it's a real Because spell. they're very, they're yes. very mani manipulative. Yes. They're extremely manipulative. And they would like, they start off very nice mm -hmm. and sweet. Yep. And absolutely. you enjoy them. You enjoy their like, company absolutely. and everything. Black widows. Then all of a sudden, here come homie number two. Yeah. And homie number two. Homie number two. <laughs> and I'm going to give the story with a friend that I had. And I'm not going to say any names because everybody. Initials? Um, nope. I'm not doing that either because I got beat up last week. Oh. <laughs> but this person is so such a narcissist that she has dealt with a narcissist. So she became. A narcissist. The narcissist. And she doesn't know it. And that's why. I've okay. Let me ask you a quick question. Let me ask you a quick question. So is it, did you see that because she was in a relationship of with a narcissist and got 
beat up by a narcissist that she became that and Correct. beat you up because well, tried, of that one. Tried to beat me up with yeah. it, but I noticed it because, like, once again, never admit to their wrong. Mm. You know, if you flirt with your somebody else's man mm. or be very flirtatious right, and I then turn that. around and say, mm. Oh, huh? No, yeah. you saw it wrong. He was after me. No, bitch, you would have knocked the shit out of him right. if he touched you or did something. That's right. Then anything yeah. that goes on, they never admit to it. It's always everybody <laughs> else's fault. Everybody else did it. Exactly. And me, I don't do anything because all I was trying to do was fix it. I exactly. want to combine something that both of all you right. are saying that's just so accurate is um, usually, like when I was going back to like feeling kind of, Drained, yeah. Is narcissists are are weak people. They yes. really yes. are. They are. They're very, they're very they are. fragile. Yes. Weak people yeah. with this facade, right? So one of the things that they always need is they need a battery, and it's usually a stronger woman. Mm -hmm. And so one of the things I would say to you is like 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 this friend is kind of put her kind of octopus tentacles <laughs> onto you, right? Right. And, exactly. and you're and you're a battery. Yeah. yeah. And what, one of the things that Charged. will happen is if you start removing yourself, yeah, you'll get you'll win your energy back, and you'll yeah. see her probably fall down. Yes. Oh, I, I already see. And then see with it. with you, Melon, like like what you're saying is so true. Is like, yeah, he wasn't gonna get you, and a lot of it is, is like you see homie number one, which is you. Like they have like this initial charm. They figure out like how to say the right thing. Yes. Right. But then when you discover homie number two, there's it's air. There's nothing there. Yes. Except for this kind of weak, fragile, angry, temperamental garbage. Mm because -hmm. they can't get their way. Yeah. And, and then they they fall. They fall. Mm -hmm. But yeah. you have to remove it. Those tentacles are pretty sticky. Yeah. And they, and they but, are. but if you're not if you're not <clears throat> paying into their sh bullshit, they'll leave. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then when they leave, they say, "Oh, because you know she was a trip." That's what I'm saying. <laughs> that. They turn it on you. That, they turn yeah. it on you. They, sure they make do. sure they get their little and they're com and they're very convincing. They turn it yes. on you. I had a relationship where he turned everybody on me. It made me very depressed because I knew he was the wrong person. But he turned everybody on me, and he was self-absorbed. He was a narcissist for sure. Everybody knew it. I was just used to it. My best friend was a narcissist. I was used to it. I had two. I had. So much people around me that was, and I just was used to it. So I, I put up with it. But everybody else around me that was new to me came in and go, what's wrong with you? This is not right. This is this person's draining you. But I never thought that. I just thought like she just. Yeah, because your niceness, mm -hmm. you're thinking. She's kind. I'm uh, Yeah, I'm being nice to them. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm mm -hmm. helping them. And they look at that and they suck that in. That's well, like their power. Took That's their power. Yeah. And they love, like, they're weak, like Steve said. And they love to they love to be with strong people and break them down. Yeah. It's like a thrill to break, break them, them down. Break them down and laugh at yeah, them. Yeah, so one thing that I tell clients, Absolutely. I tell them, like, they're, they're gasoline or their, their nutrients is that like they 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 feed on on emotion, mm -hmm. and th so don't give it to them because that's that's how they'll they'll begin to feed on you. And sometimes like you said, like you're saying, like I didn't even recognize that it was happening. Yeah, yeah. like I had this French. I didn't even recognize that I, this even happened. Is sort of the unfortunate brilliance of the narcissist is they they it's like before you even know it, you're like how did this even how did we get here? Exactly. Right. And, that's right? The and so then there's like that wake up kind of sucks. We're like whoa like. I'm like in a thing now. For some people, like they're married, right? Like they're really in a thing. You know what? I just noticed that the only reason I knew I was in that situation because I was like close to a death experience. I was really sick and I had to drive myself to ER. And that person said to me, um, oh, when are you going to get back? Like, when are you going to get back? How long is it going to take? I wasn't even caring about. Like, I don't know if I'm going to live, yeah, man. Like, I don't know if I'm going to make know. it. I don't even know. You know, I was like so sick and I was like, I'll be back. I'll be back. I just want to make sure because, you know, and I was like, oh wow. God. And I realized then and there, you don't give a shit no matter what happens. Isn't that the worst he part? He does not give a that, shit. I think that's <laughs> the hardest part. Like when you are in a relationship and you're like literally like at your ends, right? Yeah. And you're trying to save yourself and mm -hmm. they're like, well, what's wrong with you? Mm -hmm. Like there's no sympathy, empathy, no concern for you. But God forbid they have a cold or a sore throat. Freaking the whole world falls apart, mm -hmm. and you need and you need to be there because you're mm -hmm. selfish. You know mm -hmm. what I mean. So Dominique, you said you're a narcissist. 
No, I, I was just asking husband. him, like, am I a narcissist? Oh, no. you thought said, you were? No. Yeah, said something. No, I was what like, made you think you were? Just me thinking, like, when people always do give me a compliment, I'd be like, I know, right? I mean, besides that, no, I mean, no, like, no, you no, don't no, you don't do any of the other stuff that we were just talking no. about? So you're telling me you thought you was a narcissist because somebody give you a compliment? You said, somebody, that's always confidence, always girl. That. They'd be like, <laughs> you never say thank you. You always well, yeah, you should. I don't. <laughs> I don't. I'd be like, I know, right? Or Dominique. Dominique. You're, just, you're just extremely confident. But you should think, say thank you. I think it's part of your yeah. charm. Yeah. 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 I don't, I don't, I, I don't. I don't see you saying that like in an egotistical way. I no. see you saying it like fun. Like, like, yeah, no one, like, no one takes it seriously. You. Like, You'd be surprised. Like, <laughs> they do? You'd be surprised. That's why, I, that's why I came to this podcast. I said, narcissist friends? Yes. <gasps> I have to explain yes. myself. <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait a minute. So, hi, I'm alone. I didn't get to get introduced. But because I was late because I lost my phone. But and my birthday's tomorrow. That's right. Woo! Hey, so we're gonna be um celebrating Melon birthday. At- I'm gonna be fifty ocho. Oh, woo! Wow. <laughs> I'm gonna see great. That thing at not we're gonna be at the desert room. Come on through, y'all, if you want an autograph. She just anyway. Um <laughs> at the desert what? Room. Desert Ooh, room in Gardena. Gardena. Room in Gardena. Google it. Desert room in Gardena. Well, by the time they we're walk. We're doing karaoke. It's going oh, yeah, to be over. It's going to be over. Don't come. Girl, we, did, we did, we did um, karaoke at the room. I get I watch a lot of YouTube. Remember, we did karaoke yeah. at the desert room. We did good. We did really good. Yeah, she, the lady's like 90 years old and she got <laughs> yeah. CDs. Oh, yeah. awesome. Okay. But I like her. Anyway. We'll be there. So back to Dominique. Dominique. <laughs> so you said you have you had a lot of friends that are narciss- narcissists. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And, and how do you know? What I mean, what do they do to show um, you that? I have people that they'll, they'll try to say something bad about you, but they'll try to make it a laughing matter. Like, a, like it's a joke. And, mm. and I don't... But it's really a dig. It's really a dig. Mm-hmm. And I have a lot of people that do that. And, and it makes me... Like one of, my, one of my friends said once, Oh, closer um... To the mic. Huh? Closer to the mic. You're not closer supposed to say that. To the mic. Girl. Just pull yeah. the closer. Girl, you know you like that close to your mouth. Don't act like shy or something it big next to your mouth, girl. You know, I'm big and black. She's like, oh, all of a sudden I'm closer shy. To the mic. Girl, closer to the mic. Cut, this you don't cut it out. Exactly. Lynch. Exactly. Right. You don't cut so, it out, um, girl. That, that was I thing. forgot what I was about to say. Girl, don't, don't get up. Yeah. Fair. That big black thing in front of your mouth lost, lost you. your mind. Oh, you were saying that like there's like <laughs> it, it, disguise dig like they're like a yeah joke, but you're like, oh yeah oh, a friend of mine like oh um you thought you she, I guess I had got dressed up one day and she's like oh you thought you was cute that day huh and then she's like thought. I said what you, I'm like, what you mean I thought and she's like no I'm just playing no why are you trying to say that I'm ugly like that's how I look at it like that's a hater are you saying that I wasn't that's cute jealousy you yeah. thought you was cute that day huh. Yeah, I was. I was. Thank you. Then that's why I, you know. That it. was a hater. That was a straight hate. Mm-hmm. I think yeah. the narcissist. Well, there's a narcissist person in your life right now. I won't say who she it knows. is. <laughs> yeah. It, yeah, I know. Oh, uh, yeah, um, I know. I, I mean, why do you it, think that they, that person is a narcissist? It, because um, she doesn't want to see Dominique succeed. <gasps> and she, when Dominique gets uh, the light, like a, like a spotlight on her, uh, she. Starts gaslighting her, yeah. knocking it over. And then not only not only does she gaslight, but she's like very critical. Mm-hmm. Like you shouldn't do this, you shouldn't do that. Mm-hmm. Be careful with this. You're never gonna make it. You're never. I think she wants to bring Dominique down to where she's at. And it ain't working. <laughs> <laughs> you know what, Dominique? This is my opinion. I'm not a doctor, but I play one on TV. Um, <laughs> I love that line. <laughs> I, I never get up. Um, she you has need, a, you a need, doctrine. Yeah, a doctrine. On, with, on a, a GED a, budget. Yeah, I have a GED doctrine. Um, <laughs> <laughs> degree. NBC Studios. <laughs> yeah, right. good enough. That's good enough. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> you need to let that one go mm-hmm. because I'm gonna tell you. And so now we're probably going drifting somewhere. Else. <laughs> but I'm gonna tell you, people like that. They are not there to see you do well. Mm -hmm. And I have had that situation where I had people backing me and down with me. But when what I did started succeeding, all of a sudden, weird things will happen. Stuff will break down. They will mess it up. They won't show up. Mm -hmm. They're not there. They're criticizing. They're not supporting. You need to kick that one to the curb. Mm -hmm. Seriously. Because she's never going to be your friend. Mm -hmm. That negativity is not something that's in your corner. So you need to cut. Kick, you need to kick that one to kick the curb rocks. tonight. I didn't kick so many of them 
to the curb. Period. That's you, okay. I'm, I'm you a good kicker. Need, you don't need pebbles. You need a firm rock. If no one is You're supporting you, I, I have my own business. And I had people supporting me. When it started expanding, all of a sudden they became yeah. weird. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Very. So you have I'll to see. you have to realize that those people are there to to watch you fail. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It seemed like when and I was having my my downtime. Oh, everybody's there. Everybody's they're calling. The, right. Trying to keep up, what's going on with you? Hey, what's going on? What's going on? Trying to find out what's going on about me because yeah. I'm not answering my phone. As soon as I'm up and I'm and I'm succeeding, you know, have my they book disappear. going, ain't and nobody. she succeeds on a lot of stuff. Yeah, nobody's Domin supporting. Any time Dominique puts her mind, mind to, to something yep. and she does it, she doesn't look back and she achieves it. Mm -hmm. It, you know, she I does know, right? a great job. And I know, <laughs> like myself, when I'm down and out, we almost have like the same amount of people that we hang out with, and we have a little bit of different crowds. And when I succeed. I don't hear anything positive from those people. Mm -hmm. So I had to let them go. And uh, yeah, mm -hmm. it's really sad that people can't accept to be happy for you. And it's almost like jealousy. It's, it's like they check you know, out. Isn't that, isn't that kind of the that. truth, guys? Mm -hmm. one, of the, one of the things I'm learning, maybe just to evolve the conversation a bit more, is there's real truth in people who are doing more than you aren't really going to talk shit about you. Mm -hmm. But if you're doing more than them, mm -hmm. They they will they will they will cut into you mm -hmm. if you evolve. So like the high vibe, really high. low vibe, like the low vibe is like if pe people who who are doing less will will talk more, mm -hmm. right? And one of things that I've noticed in my own kind of growth, like as I expand my life in different ways, <clears throat> I find these people who are more successful than me, and their attitude is, I want to pull you up, right? I I I, I like what you're doing. Uh, let me help you up. Yes. Mm -hmm. And 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 it's cool to see that like as I mature, as I kind of do the right things, mm -hmm. you know, I'm patient, the right people will come to me and be like, I like what you're doing. I see what you're doing. I can help you yeah. along. And they make me better than I was yeah. before. And then there's people who who aren't doing as much as, as as I am and they just they just don't offer. But you're doing so well. Or I or have they a friend or, like that. or or they or, or or whatever they they gossip, they talk trash about me, whatever they say behind my back, whatever whatever yeah. they're they're allowed to do that, you know. Um, but I think I think to what you were saying, Gina, like you 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 you're an author, you've done things, you've been successful, mm -hmm. and like the real real friends will do what you're saying, where you're like, hey, I I see what you're doing, like, yeah, good for you. Well, when and then I'm I watch them, out, they yeah. they're posting everybody else's stuff and. Like, hey, I have a book. Hey, hello. Yeah, they, they don't support because they're hello. not happy. But hello. you want me to go party with you? You want me to go out and hang with you? But mm -hmm. you don't even support my dreams. Hello, like, and I'm gonna turn it on Lou because even with Lou doing this, yeah, you start seeing, and I'm right, Lou. Yeah, you start seeing people <clears throat> with their hateration. They come in with hateration. Yeah, it's the hateration no, nation. It's true. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. True. And but that's what happens when you look like you're doing good. They all fall back. When you're doing bad, they want to sit right there and kick it with you. And they love they it. And they love it. They they they're love hoping. It. They're they want to be in the front row to they see the veil. They love it. I can tell you that right now. They want to be in the front row. They want to be in the front row to be, I told you. Mm -hmm. I told you. But no, it's not But happen. no, no, no. <laughs> but like that's, that's, that's really the thing, right? It's like you, you just got to know in, in, in your life. You're gonna experience good people and bad people and everything in between, and you're gonna have to like let some of them go. Ties. Yeah, you're gonna make new relationships. You're gonna build new relationships. You're gonna make the really good relationships even better, and then it's not perfect. People are gonna say what they're gonna say about you. You have no control of it, right. but you but you can control who you hang out with. Right, right. Like like this subject about it's like, say a like narcissistic loud friend. Quietness. Like, I have friends like for thirty years. Loud quietness to me. I had I've had friends for thirty years. So think, don't think about the number of years. Some people think of oh, we've been friends so long, so I'm just gonna hang in there with you when it don't mean you any good. That's me. So <laughs> yeah, no, I'm good. Like I and I thought about it because my friends that I have for thirty years, several of them, mm -hmm. some passed away. God rest her soul. Mm -hmm. But the ones they're like, oh, thirty years, and you just let that friendship go. No, they let it go. So I let it go. Right. I didn't try to mend it. Mm -hmm. I realized, right. okay, you're not trying to be my friend. So why am I forcing myself mm -hmm. to be part of you? What did I even do to you 
because you were upset because I'm doing good? Hello? That's yeah. retarded. And so what's like so what's your definition of real friendship? Like what what it, what is friendship? Loyalty. Well, it's not well. Somebody told me they stopped being oh. my friend because my loyalty was low, oh. and I didn't understand that. I thought it's because another friend was digging a dude that she was digging, and he was digging her. Well, I had nothing to do with that loyalty, yeah, but right. I just thought that you. I mean, if you cut a friendship that you've had for thirty years on a text message, that's some. Cheap, my best cheesy shit. Ex besties, y'all say. Because why? I mean, if I'm your friend, let me get on the phone. Let's have a discussion. Don't say, "Oh, um, you know, I'm I'm not talking to you anymore." You know, I'll be cordial, but I don't really. We're not cool. Thirty years, really, right. yeah. really. Yeah, I just also think thirty years. We should have a conversation. If you don't call me, and you expect me to keep calling you, inviting you. Hearing your story, One hearing sided. your complaints, hearing Helping your you gripes, out. hearing this. Uh, it's all about you, 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 you. I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm turned off. I'll make an excuse not to talk to you. I'll put your phone on voicemail. I'll ignore your calls. Because I used to do that when I was younger. I accepted everybody's calls. Is that why no, my no, phones no, went no, to voicemail? No, 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 Wait a minute, what? <laughs> no. I go, is that why my calls went no, to voicemail? No, yes, no, no. But I it's called just three like, times. <laughs> Well, tell her right now while she's right in your face. Yeah. Why did her voice? Why did her voice? But I will tell you, it's like when someone just drains the life out of you. Yeah. That's just too much. Yeah, it is. Like, and that person just wants to talk about themselves, their day, their relationship, their problems, their this, their that. And then you don't hear from them. And then it's again, their problems, their day, their, you know. And it's like, no, it has to work both ways. And you got to call me as much as I call you. It can't, all, it can't be always about me trying to reach out. And I gave away a lot of friends. I, a group of friends that I don't hang out with anymore. And it killed me. It kills me too. But you got to do, do it. Are you a type, would you say that you're uh, guilty of of niceness? Like you're too nice? Yeah. Well, she oh, is. Yeah. You sort she of is. Yeah. Swimming in it. Taurus. Yeah. <laughs> She's oh, yeah, a Taurus. Taurus. <laughs> they're, they're, they're too they're yeah. sweet. They, she a different yeah. kind of Taurus well, though because some of them be are bullheaded. Well, yeah. no, they get bullheaded. They do, but they they you you push them to that. Yes, yeah, yes. That's true. But otherwise, they're super kind. They're fucking loyal as shit. Man. I think that's why I love her because I love a challenge when it comes to like. Yeah, she don't let. What you, sign are you? She's she a saggy. She don't let you. Oh, she, she let me push that button and then she be like, yeah. "Wait a minute!" Then I'll be yeah. like, "There I, she is." I, yep. re I rarely. <laughs> she likes to do that to me. I rarely get pissed off. Yeah. Yeah. When's your birthday? When's your birthday? I'll dig in her lounge. <laughs> when's your birthday? <laughs> two times I'm a, I'm I ever got pissed off. Oh, two answers. <laughs> okay. Yeah. You yeah. love yeah. me. I'm a good cancer. Yeah, she I, I'm good yeah. with cancer. You're I'm, good with cancer. I'm a yeah. Gemini. I'm usually good yeah. with most people. Yeah. Crazy Libras, I have a problem with. Ooh. Yeah. Because they're too fickle and yeah. and Aries, they're strained. They think they're, they're smarter Aries. than you. And yeah. Pisces, maybe a little bit. I think a lot of Aries yeah. are narcissists. I think oh, a lot yeah. of Aquarius Ooh. are Ooh. definitely Aquarius, Aquarius yes. are the number one narcissist. They are Sorry, podcast. Sorry, you guys. Whoever's an Aquarius <laughs> out there, we still love you. You see, I broke it down. Us. I'm telling you, for real. Yeah, that's true. It's I don't have enough of the Zodiac to, to talk oh, about. What I do, I'm telling you. Yeah, you know what? You're actually <laughs> I'm Aquarius pinpoint honey. I can't. perfect yeah. with mm -mm. that. That's their middle name. Aquarius Narcissist. Narcissist. <laughs> Ooh, did you guys... Aquarius <laughs> Narcissist. Did you guys hear that? I need you guys to comment and tell me if what you really think. That's they're going real. off. They're yeah. going they, off. When, they, when I tell you that We're they... Sorry. They be on you like, and it's always they're they're the perfect person, and yeah. you you're you're crazy, yes. and and I have my woman, and she's crazy. I yeah. mean, when they come to you, that's how they start off with, and then mm -hmm. I because I dated one, and I have my woman, she's crazy. Do you guys think it's funny? Like one of the things I, I find funny when I listen to narcissists is like they have this advertisement of being like a ten. Yes, like oh, I'm I, I'm a ten. Yes, right. Plus. No, I'm a twenty. <laughs> But like in the next sentence, they will tell you about like the shit life that they have and this problem. <laughs> yes, I'm with this woman. She's oh, a disaster. Yes, God. And the boss her. is fucking yes. with me, and I, I'm worth way more money. Oh, yes, right? and, and God, like, yes. But a second ago, you just you just told me about she how you king are, of the world. Yeah, the king of so the world. So what's the common yeah. denominator there? And they're really know the one, them. They're really, but, but they would never find, say it. Kind of comical. Like, like in depressing. one breath, like I'm sort of imagining this friend of you guys who's like. Got her hair done, her nails done, her new outfit, and she's looking fly, and she wants the world to know. 
right? But like just as soon as she gets there, this isn't the right place. Yeah. Yep. These aren't the right guys. These yep. guys. They're not giving me Because they're not giving me not attention. Giving me nothing. So we got, go. we got to go. But I'm, I'm, but I'm, I'm a 10. Yeah, I'm yeah. a 10. But I'm a 10. Yeah. But we got to get But nobody you, here thinks I'm a 10. Tell Nobody's so, look, so, treating but, me like but a 10. Like all, it's like, like you're saying this, but then you're doing that. And it's like, you, you're not king of the world. And then like complaining about how, how bad it is, right? Mm -hmm. Like you're the king of the world. You're like, man, I eat lobster at night. And I have like a luxurious bed, mm. you know? Yeah. But like, that's not what they're doing. No. It's very kind of yeah. They're, They're very they, depressing they people. They live in a world of delusion. Yes. Absolutely. In a, nice. in a glass. Barbie girl. In a Barbie world. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. That's, and no, if seriously. they got to hype themselves up that much, you know there's a red flag. Right, there's error Because error. everybody that I've ever dated that hyped themselves up a lot, it was just... It's like if you're so great, then why do you get why a divorce? You why you have you to don't even have to. You don't why even have next. You, you don't even have to have like <laughs> yeah. like introduction. Yeah, no you validation. Can, so yeah. basically, you mm -hmm. come up with your introduction of I got this and I do this and I do that. And first thing I do is like really not impressed. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. I'm turned all the way off. Yeah. And they sure in the hell hate if you're equal or even better than them. If people give you equal lie. Like, no, no. Equal. Oh, equal. Equal. Oh, okay. equal. Yeah, equal. Equal. Like, equal. <laughs> if they me, are equal. If, if I Tonight's validated yeah, myself. Yeah, it's equal. Yeah. Your beef. If, I, if I thought I was great and then. Your beef is narcissistic. You know, we were dating and you got more attention. It would be like, oh, my God. You know, that would ruffle somebody's feathers. Mm. That was a narcissist yeah. for sure. And they don't want someone to be better than them. No, no one attention. is better than them. No one is better. They than are them. the king of the world. Mm -hmm. They know everything. And yeah, and oh, you are the one the that is lacking. Yeah. The yeah. <laughs> you're, you're lacking. She's waking up, guys. She's yeah, waking you're up. Lacking. Be at the you're lacking. You're lacking. I yeah. need to be the um be at the buzzer not, room. We're gonna like sing. Get your songs together. Y'all want something? Just look at me, and I'll do. Something. <laughs> yeah, push it around. Like and you better come fine. <laughs> gonna push a chicken but, um, in a minute. Put your lashes Lou, on. Lou, how about so, you? How about you, Lou? What's your narcissist? Oh, yeah. Come well, on. Uh, there's been a couple, but one that's been like a fucking sore fucking mole in my asshole. Wow. Mole in my asshole. Sounds like a narcissist. So, <laughs> yeah. Big really? narcissist here. <laughs> or, or sounds uh, like ER. Yeah, we, you know, we, we used to be friends and, um, it was always like, oh, you know, um, why are you always getting elevated? I have kids. I, you have a partner. Oh, I'm a yeah. single mom. And I, 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 you know, then, you know, spoke bad and then threw me underneath the bus. And then Ugh. when it came down to it, instead of just apologizing and just bygones be bygones, she was just like, oh, let's just, you know, kind of. Fuck you. No. I sweep it underneath the rug. <laughs> but, you know, I was like, whatever, because I, I don't give a fuck. You know, I'm just mm. like, okay, well, fine. But then she did it again. And it's like the sad part is like everyone always talks about her. Nobody cares about her because if she's not sleeping with um, other women. <laughs> oh, I am not with you. Beep, 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 beep. Yeah. <laughs> you well, know? That's pretty common down there, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> but you, you, keep, you kept her as a friend, so, you know, shame on you. I did because she, first time shame on me. No, first, first time, time shame, shame on, on her. Second, second time, time shame on me. Exactly. But you know what? After that, I was like, "Fuck you, bye, Felicia." Oh, she said, yeah, "Bye, Felicia." I said, "Bye, Felicia." Yeah, and you know, and like, so she sees me. She tries to like do you know small conversations. I'm like, "Bitch, I don't think so." You know, Oof. you was like, "Be no. please." That's right. Like, no. You know, but I mean, I have to stay cordial because no matter what, we work in the same industry, you know. Oh, and my God. Well, why do you have to be cordial? <laughs> well, because of the fact that we work together. So right. I'm being cordial so with somebody. I need, I don't I need to, to know to the right definition now. of the word cordial. Cordial is like, if you're going to ask me what you need to do, where you need to work, or, you know, anything that's in interest in the, of yeah. work, I'm going to respond. Yeah. Otherwise, yeah. go fuck yourself, bitch. I probably would be like, go fuck yourself. That's uh, right. Bye. Yeah, bye. <laughs> well, she probably already knows I can't stand it. Um, go fuck yourself and go to Nancy Nancy 200. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. Yeah. Nancy Nancy 200. <laughs> no, it's, um, it's, what's that? <laughs> KK 200 for Karen. <laughs> for Karen. Karen. You belong in the Karen 100. <laughs> 100. <laughs> so I wanted to Boys, bring up before another. Before you head out, just, just remember to um, <clears throat> uh, go fuck yourself. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> So in, in the bathroom. What? Go in the bathroom. 
<laughs> I wanted to go back to the the narcissistic um, relationship. So oh, that was I I was talking one. about a girl, a home girl. Yes. Mm-hmm. Now I'm talking about a boyfriend. Okay. That was very narcissistic, mm-hmm. and he made me feel really, really bad about his situation because he was married. Mm-hmm. So he kept. Making me feel bad about his situation, Mm -hmm. which is a narcissistic move. Mm -hmm. And he would say things like, for instance, his anniversary came up. Mm -hmm. And he goes, well, you know, my anniversary is coming up and I'm going to be out to dinner, blah, 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 blah. And I said, so why the fuck are you telling me that? I don't give two fucks about you and your anniversary. I can't believe you're going to act like that. I'm just trying to tell you that, you know, it's my anniversary. This was a friend or you were dating him? I was dating him. Oh. So you said he was married. Yes. So, <laughs> yeah. No, so, so, so just, the, but that's what I'm saying because not only was he that narcissist towards me, but also towards his wife. And oh, I put so much of my shit out here. Girl, Lord, okay. forgive me. No. But did <laughs> she know what he was doing? She was subject to it. Because <laughs> define subject. So she looked like Kizzy on color purple. Mm-hmm. Because we he have a had picture tore of her on down. Color purple, Solomon. <laughs> he, he had tore her down <laughs> so bad that she, you could see on her face what she was going through with him. Yeah. And I literally at one point was like, oh, I see. I would never want to be with you. I'm glad. I'm so sorry for your and wife. And that'll tell you exactly what you're going to experience with that person. Correct. Mm-hmm. In Correct. any relationship, male, female, whatever. Correct. Yeah. And it was always, and then I sit down and the question I had to him, okay, if two people are saying the same thing. Mm-hmm. Need another drink. Common denominator. That's what mm-hmm. I always say. What's a common denominator? Common deni- and he says, well, she calls me. She says, I'm a narcissist. I said, and you probably are. Mm-hmm. You probably are because you do these things. You um, you turn, everything is turned. Oh, so I shouldn't tell you about my anniversary? No, I don't you care about your damn anniversary. Right. Oh, I shouldn't tell you that me and my wife is gone. No, if you have a girlfriend, you shouldn't be telling your, your business about that. So you're really like, what, what are you trying to gain out of this yeah. whole thing? And then it turns around, well, I don't understand why you're getting upset. It is my wife. Oh, boy. And if the shoe was on the other foot and she had a boyfriend, he would not be okay with that. And he would not be <laughs> as calm as he's acting. Turning. What's going he's, on? He's, sound, he's definitely a narcissist. Oh, he's, he's, nar- he's narcissist yeah. 100. Yeah. And then he stays calm. Narcissists stay very calm when they're making you feel like you're They don't want to like blow shit. up right away. Yeah. So, they, don't, they won't blow up. They'll go, why are you acting like that? I don't understand. All I'm trying to do is have a conversation with you. I don't I don't understand why you're mad. Right. So that that's that's part of the gaslighting. Move. Exactly. But just to like translate that, like this isn't obvious, like chunking it down. So narcissism is this pervasive pattern of behavior. You mm-hmm. see it everywhere. Like in this mm-hmm. situation, like if you're dumb enough, let's say to have to have an affair, and you're having an affair, but like if you're if you're also if wait wait, did you say gonna, dumb enough? <laughs> I'm offended. He just said <laughs> you're allowed to be offended. <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm offensive. <laughs> but if, but if, eh, 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 time but out. If, if you're gonna have a, if you're gonna have an affair <laughs> and, and, and be like do a self-centered thing, but like, <laughs> That's it's, a good one. it's self-centered. Like I'm gonna I'm gonna cheat on my spouse and. Or I'm also gonna break my spouse down. Yeah. Right. And and like and do to that someone uncool else. thing. Yeah. Yeah. And then in turn go with your 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 side piece. Side piece. And hey. be like, oh. <laughs> listen, I can't see you on your anniversary. Like, I'm, I got an anniversary here. It's like, like <laughs> you don't get you don't. It's like what what. Like and like and then for you to be like I don't care. I'm like what do you mean you don't you don't care? Right. I'm in the middle. I'm in the middle of an affair and a selfish act. <laughs> <laughs> I need you to care about my selfish <laughs> act with you. Yeah, right. Oh, and she's gonna be upset because we're we're having an anniversary. If I can't I can't not give her the steak dinner. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it this, gets. This is this is really convoluted. Yeah. And then yeah, and I was then, gonna and say and that. And then, and, then, and then they're like, listen, yeah. I don't know why you're getting upset. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just trying to I, tell I'm getting, you. I'm getting upset because of this thing called. Um, What's it called? Logic. Logic. <laughs> yeah. Reality. Oh, oh. 
reality. That's what it is. That's Let it is. sink in for a second. Not, 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 this, not this. Yeah, right. Anyway. <laughs> yes, absolutely. What an episode, Lou. What an episode, Lou. Yes, what an episode. episode. Yes, what an so episode. What's okay. left? Is there, what, is there any kind of remaining beats here, guys? We... Well, I'm sure there is. We'll think about them after we leave. I know. <laughs> Dominique, what's going in there? Let's talk about it. Nothing. Nothing? You don't got no juice? Well, well I just what? feel that, I mean, not to cut in, but... Um, if you feel like you're dealing with a narcissist person, don't stay with that because they will they will encourage you to stay with it. For and sure. then you will definitely start thinking that you are something wrong with you. Absolutely. So if you start seeing signs of it, like right. what a Dr. Steve said, mm -hmm. yes, you need to just open your eyes. A lot of us, once again, we put blinders on because we want to be with that person. So, oh, well, we no, excuses. no. And yeah, then you excuses. start questioning yourself yourself exactly so you're right and then i'll just go back to the beginning with something you said dominique you said you said one word you said run run so here's like the the brass tacks plain easy advice is if you're having this experience you're not going to fix this person mm -mm. this person right. is going to be this way they're going to tire you out you're going to feel looney tune yes and it's not going to do an about face. And it's better to just run. Or I might just say walk away slow. Yes. Like just kind of back up slow. And they're like, hey, I want to hang out with you. And you're like, oh, yeah, not today. I got this mm. other thing going on. And then just and run what I do. slowly <laughs> just kind of start walking yeah. away. Yeah. So that they can find a new battery pack to kind of mm. you know, I'm doing that right now with to. someone. I'm yes. trying to ease out. I'm backing out. Mm. So am I. Of the back away slow. Back, I'm back backing away, away slowly. <laughs> or, or or run. Or run. Because they're yeah. not they're not gonna they're not gonna act like a regular person. Right. No. They'll not, even call you. Are. They'll even call you like, what's going on? You kind of gotta <laughs> manipulate them into thinking that they don't need you when you back away because they'll find somebody to replace you. Oh, you yeah. already replaced. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> For sure. And you For want sure. that. You're like, I, I, I want to sure. be And I'm be glad I would I want to be off the I job. Be. Yeah. They're already, they oh. replace you oh. before you back but off. I have seen that work. What if it's your work. child? Yeah. When you're able to kind of show back them, like, you don't really want this. Like, yeah, yeah. Like, wait, you know wait, what? Did you hear this? True. What if it's your child and you can't back out? Wow. Interesting that you would say that because, hmm. Well, I would say this is another probably another episode. Yes, it is. definitely. <laughs> you know, but what, but That's what, a I, long but what I would say is like I've seen, I've seen parents who 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 do end the relationship, if the narcissist is that severe, or I've seen parents like get washed away to sea, in the mess of it all, and I've also seen narcissists like uh, uh, parents learn how to just hold certain boundaries, like we do this and not that, period, yeah. and they period. just let that they let that kid have a bad time. Yeah. Uh -huh. They let them have a narcissist tantrum. Yeah. They let them kind of like, you know, stamp stamp their feet and then be like, okay, are you done? Yeah. All right, pass the peas. Okay. Mm -hmm. I, I, I want a little bit more of that chicken. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Pass it over here. And then and they don't they don't give it any weight. Yeah. It's interesting that Boundaries. you talk about children. Yeah. We'll have because, to do yeah, an episode we're gonna have on to children. Do, we're going to have to do. Yeah, we will. I mean, children that are adults. I mean, because it's a whole adult, different yeah. thing. We all have kids is one thing, but adult children that. Just well, that's when you see it. Like you, 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 kids, that's when you see teenagers, that they're too young to get that label. At that point, they're just like self-centered. Yeah, 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 that's yeah. the norm. Right? But, but when they become adult, 18 or over, you can start thinking about, is this really a right. narcissist? That's yes. true. Mm -hmm. So we're wow. going to save that for the next episode. But for now, we're going to have to say goodbye to our audience, guys. Elaine, I hope that you enjoyed this um, segment. It was all for you. Thank you so much for commenting and watching and liking. And I also want to give a little shout out to um, Francine because Francine always watches, you know, all the episodes. She comments and she's always hearting and liking. So thank you, Franny. Thank you, Francine. Love you, Franny. Boo, Franny. My day one. And um, right. Steve, like always, you know, it's I such a fat. pleasure to have you. <laughs> Just give all your facts and all your knowledge. I can't you know, see it's that. It's beautiful screen. that we can incorporate I it. I like that. Yeah, it's fun. It's fun yeah. to give a little, little little pro tip with some yeah. like mm -hmm. some fun conversation. It's nice, right? Yeah. I yeah. think it's great. Well, you guys, thank you very much for all your stories and all your experiences. Melon, thank, thank you for making it. Ah, uh, yes. Thank God you got you. And happy birthday to me. Yes. Happy birthday, happy birthday to Melon. Hey. Woo! Hey. Happy Hello. birthday to you. Hey. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> thank you. Thank Alrighty, you. All guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. 
And we will talk to you soon. Bye. 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 That's all for today. Thank you for watching and listening. It truly means the world to me. If you enjoy the show, make sure that you like, share, and subscribe at Let Loose With Lou on Instagram, YouTube, and Spotify.